Hello, this is Randy. I decided to try a video where I talk through one of my games, showing my thought processes and decision making. Here's a strategy I made for Red Comet. Made it a few weeks ago when Hover became a very popular choice for land maps, and I wanted to find a way to expand quickly uh, while still being able to survive the uh, dagger harassment with its high alpha attacks, and then kick into good production myself. So this is a strategy I made for this. This is Izzy Raid. It's a Hover v Hover matchup. Though I have used this strategy as well with Rovers against Hovers. So first of all we can see I'm measuring out where to put my lab. I want to build three solars here at some point. Just making a wall blocking off any run buys from uh, Raiders. Just make defense a bit easier. So we'll see in this game, my expansion path with my commander is going to be this direction. So that's why I've started off with these two mechs. Normally, most games I start up here, you can just expand in all directions. But this game, I'm trying to get my commander to here, block off this area with an LLT, place a radar which will have vision of just enough to get to the bottom of the map so I can see any run buys coming in this way. And it will also cover this area with my commander coming up and a radar so I can sweep up so my cons can expand this way safely without fear of harassment from early daggers. So I've got two cons first and I'm not scouting straight away. It's because I feel I should be safe against most things with this build and building positioning. So I get the, uh, the energy going down to the wall that I showed earlier. Now my commander's off. I'm trying to keep my uh, resources just above stalling. That's how I decided when to start the commander walking. Because plus 10, plus 10. That should uh, satisfy these two. They should both be able to build non-stop. 100% production with that. And about the time they finish this third solo and move away, my commander should arrive and start building and using that 10 build power. Throw out one dagger just so I can now go scout. And I'll start a bit more production out of the factory shortly. So you can see this uh, radar tower on the map. You can just see the bottom edge of the. Uh, the map, so uh, I'll see if I'm getting uh, cornered. The LRT covers this area quite nicely. Gives a very thin path to get through, but I should be able to get units in time for that. It should do its job. And you can see my cons are expanding as well. Now it's very easy just to cap all these mechs quickly, realise you're at plus 25 metal and still 15 energy, so I'm going to split it between solars and mechs. It's not going to be just mechs building. So now I've seen this guy coming underneath. I'm not too worried about him getting a hit or two on the mechs. Dagger's DPS is very low, so it's only when the numbers get up to two or three they'll be able to kill anything. So at this point you can see I'm expanding quite quickly. Whereas Izzy Raid's only just getting his uh, fourth mechs now. I'm at five. And I'll very quickly have nine. So yeah, the radar hasn't seen this guy leave yet, so I've got these covering down here. LLT means all this is safe from a dagger, and my commander can cover this area. So that's been cleaned up. Now, I'm feeling very secure at the moment. Held off his early harasses with little to no losses. So I'm starting my caretaker production. Sloppy there, losing that dagger. Don't think it would have been able to do much anyway. Now I'm getting to the stage where my production will kick off when these caretakers finish. And my commander can cover this, so I'm not going to build an LRT at these mechs. I'm just going to start walking down. You 
can see I've managed to keep my resources relatively balanced to minimize stall. Now Izzy's managed to catch up on the number of mexes. Price production will start to fall behind now. I can see these coming up here, but I'm not worried. Four daggers won't be able to uh, raid that well, especially since I've got them outnumbered. So my commander can keep expanding. No need for any more laser towers yet. And now, shortly, I should throw out a few cons. There we go. Got to a stage where I feel like I can start to uh, take over the map. He's had the map presence so far, but that's why I've been on a defensive positioning wise with my building pattern. So now I'm going to start taking over the map and use this opportunity to throw out a few cons, start expanding and push my advantage. Speed up a bit. So yep, just whenever I'm building solars I try and make it so it, even if it's not in a grid initially, they can grid at some point. Now one thing I like to do at this point with my commander is I try and cut off this area. Makes it hard to reinforce. So that's why the HLT is here. Now he has to defend this area. And if I decide to send some daggers or what are they called? Halberds that way, his units have to go all the way around here to swing either way. It's a game against Godda Hover v Hover, which uh, this comes into play quite a lot. I'll link that replay in the thread. So now, push in with all my uh, superior dagger production and start throwing down LLTs. This will draw fire and also help secure the area when it's done. So this Rex from the battle that we just have will be mine. I'll shortly stop dagger production because it's getting to the stage now where scalpels will start to become more useful and halberds for raiding. As you can see my expansion and his inability to switch between these two spots very easily is when I've been able to come up here uncontested. I've managed to cap all these very quickly. And I have a decent amount of solars to keep the uh, resources from installing on either one. I've switched into gunships. The mixture of gunships and ground armies is very good. It's hard to deal with both adequately. I keep pushing in, just claiming more of the wreck field, and it just becomes kind of snowballing. Commander survives, just a bit of desperation trying to finish it off. But Alas, it doesn't fall. But I'm securing this area now. Caretaker to help build turrets and reclaim. Just helps lock that down. Now, could start to use the uh, gunships to harass. Oh, a little run by. Caught me off guard there. Left a the space. Should have had these scalpels more down here. But it should be. Uh, Relatively easy clean up now. I have gunships, very mobile, great for this kind of thing. He has started to push back. This is uh, the uh, effect of me letting these slip by. My gunships should have been up here at this point. These little things add up. So now I'm going to abuse the fact that I have this area now completely shut off and start attacking up here whilst pressing down here. Opposite ends of the map, just to make him, uh, he has to either split his forces or commit to defend one side. And that shall do it. I hope this has been interesting and informative. 
It's the first time I've tried making one of these. Uh, if people seem to like it, I might try making more in the future. Thanks very much for watching.